How's it going? I uh, hope you find this video useful. This is me explaining why the lower price OBD2 adapters for the Prius are not worth it. This is me connecting for the first time with my OBD Link MX Plus. Okay. Uh, you can see it gives me the option to select which ECU I like to connect to. Um, it's asking me to register since this is the first time opening it and also asking me to go ahead and uh, pull the enhanced diagnostics add-ons. We're not going to do that on this time right now. Okay. Uh, so right now, this is me pulling a list of status codes or the, you know, engine codes, air codes, whatever you want to call it. Okay. You notice this is just showing, oh, you have a system tooling and an O2 sensor. Okay. I go ahead, I clear those out. And now what I'm going to do is, and you know, since I don't have the enhanced add-ons added to this yet, my Bluetooth adapter is acting like a normal and we'll call it lower priced option. Those are the only codes it's going to show me. Okay. Um, and I've seen before where people say, well, my, my Bluetooth device dongle, it doesn't show me anything but this. Okay. Well, why is my car doing that? Um, and again, this is why. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and activate the enhanced add-ons. A lot of times I mention to people, oh, with enhanced add-ons, you can look at the TPMS and see the tire pressures, but it's a lot more than that. Okay, uh, so we're going to go ahead and walk through the app at the add-on. Okay, and this is a free add-on. Once you buy the OBD Link MX, you don't have to buy anything else. No monthly subscriptions, no nothing. Okay, um, so after we have these add-ons downloaded and installed, now we're going to go back and, you know, run the, the, the what is it? Let's come up here, hold on. We're just going to tell us all of the engine codes, okay? The diagnostics, there we go. So now, here we go. Oh, look, there's tire pressure monitor. There's a lot more options that you can look at of the vehicle after you have the enhanced it's added on, all right? Um, so right now, we're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to select the engine control, and it's going to say, oh, we need to go ahead and um, see the other PIDs, and just think of PIDs as an indicator within the system that, provides a value to this app, okay? Um, so right now we're scanning all of the PIDs on the vehicle. Now, I didn't do that the first time, did you notice? Back before we had the enhancements added on. So now, we're gonna go ahead and look at the trouble codes again, okay? Now, look, give us which module we wanna read. A lot more options. And now let's, I'm not gonna do historical. I wanna see what's in my car now, okay? Oh, wow, check that out. ABS sensor, HV system, okay? So that right there alone, that should show you. Having the enhanced ECU diagnostics allows you to see a lot more about your vehicle than you would with a lower priced OBD device option. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. OBD and Max Plus, that's what you need. It works with iPhone, it works for Android, it even works on the computer, okay? Um, so now let's see what are we doing here. So we went ahead, we cleared out all of the codes. Yes, I've still got the Bank 1 Sensor 2. Before it was, what was it, Bank 2 Sensor 1? So I still have to figure out what's going on with this car. However, I can always know I'm gonna see every single air code available in my car. So now, if you think about that and the fact that um, I feel like that's false information, you know, telling people what Bluetooth device to buy. This is the front passenger side installation of a two inch lift kit on a Toyota Prius. You'll notice at first glance, you're gonna think the parts do not fit. Everything does not align. Oh no, look how horrible that is. Bad quality parts, no. You have to use a spring sprut compressor to compress it down so that the bolts can line up. This one will not work. This type of spring compressor will not work. That way the bolts line up and you can put everything back together. There was a short time period where there was a little bit extra powder coating on a handful of parts and they wouldn't fit like that. But since then, people are installing these two inch lift kits left and right, okay? Um, the Prius Vs um, and Okay, now what they're doing is, instead of putting a spring spacer in the back, they're just going to put heavy-duty springs in the rear. This is what it looks like when you have a heavy-duty spring in the rear with no lift in the front. Okay? 
This is a beautiful setup with the new K KYBs and the springs in the back to give a nice lift. So you Gen 2 folks, even you Gen 4 folks, um, springs are available. And do not believe what you read or hear on the internet about parts not fitting. Or that the cheaper Bluetooth OBD device is what you should purchase for your Prius.